Good morning, Libra. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome aboard the Cosmic Cherry. I'm going to be your tarot reader today. My name is Tyler. All right, so Libra, what's going on for you guys? All right, Libra, what's going on? All right, I have this uh, green candle here for to help bring in some abundance into your life. I've been using it throughout the readings, and yeah, you know, just to bring some more abundance to you guys, you know? Help you get some, like, more money in your pocket, you know? You know? All right, so, Libra, this is going to be for... This reading is going to be a love reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign. Not all messages will resonate, but take what resonates and leave the rest behind. For that being said, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> all right, Libra. You're coming out with the uh, the world's card in the upright, so you could be. Um, so you're coming out as the world's card in the upright, so you could just be repeating cycles or getting ready for the new year, whether you're setting new goals or just you're just revamping yourself, all right, for the new year, all right. So when it comes to your emotions, you're needing to make a decision. And let's clarify that now. Let's clarify that now. That way we um, understand what it's talking about before we get into your partner. All right. So Libra, 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 Libra. Clarify the four of swords. Clarify the four of swords. Clarify the four of swords. All right. I, um, when I was shuffling, I saw the uh, there it is again. I saw the three of swords reverse. So you could be releasing yourself from a third party situation, but you don't have to be. Um, I did not pull that card yet. That's just what the cards were showing me. Um, but yeah. So let's see what your decision is. Your decision is to either look at the bigger picture. Or make an injustice situ uh, decision. All right. So, um, whatever it is that you are going through, Libra, um, it doesn't look like it was for the best for you. And when it comes to your desires, you are really um, juggling two outcomes, right? Uh, you're juggling too many things and you're kind of like all over the place, but at the same time, you're trying your best to keep composure. And if someone did cheat on you, you may, like, want to, like, go take action and just be, like, like, key their car or something, go fight someone, whatever it is. But that is not the logical thing to do. That is not what the best decision is to do. Even though you feel like that is the best decision, like, yes, I'm going to go do that. I'm going to hurt this person. That is not the best decision. You may it may feel good in that moment, but it's not the right thing to do. The right thing to do is to look at the take a step back, get your gain your composure and do you. All right? Do what's best for you. All right? So let's get into your partner. Let's see who you're dealing with. Let's see who you are dealing with. Who is Libra dealing with? All right, all right, all right. So you could be dealing with a, another air sign. You have um, I apologize. I just ate. So, um, anyways, uh, you could be dealing with another air sign. They they're coming out as the Knight of Swords in reverse. So. They don't really think when they take action. They kind of just take action and they go from there, right? Um, you know, with the Knight of Swords, they kind of like think about it first and then they take action because they know what they desire. But in this one, they're not really sure what they desire. They just take action in random places. They don't really think about the consequences, right? So... Their emotions are coming out as a star card, so that they feel like everything's balanced. Like maybe 
you did something in the past and they're like, okay, well, this is just my revenge on them, you know, or like whatever. But they feel like everything's all good between you two, between the whole situation. All right. You know, they got the star card. Their wishes are coming true for whatever reason. Whatever your story is, that's your story. If you need to flip it, then flip it. Um, but you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, but yeah. Um, so when it comes to their desires, they, they're not at peace. They don't have peace when it comes to their desires. That's why they want to take action towards things. So that they can be at ease. They don't have to stress about anything. Maybe this person that they cheated on you with, um, you know, makes them, you know, peaceful. Like, doesn't put any stress in their life. You know, they don't stress them out. But, I mean, that's not a reason to cheat. But, like, if you're going to cheat, at least break up with the person first, right? So that way, like, you don't have to be with that person you know if you're not happy in the relationship just leave just leave it's better for everyone that way you're not wasting anyone's time you know but uh let's get into the outcome of the situation between you two what is the outcome between you could be dealing with a cancer i got cancer when i was about to say libra and uh, their partner so you could be dealing with a cancer but you don't have to be but uh let's see let's see let's see what's going on for libra and their partner or maybe there's just a libra or maybe there's just a cancer that is getting in between you two and you feel like they are the reason why this person doesn't want you or blah 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 you know, whatever it is, that's your beef, you know, take it as it resonates, you know. All right, so there's some waiting here. You have the two of wands, but it doesn't look like there's going to be a new start. You have the sun, sun card reverse. So if you are waiting for this person to respond back to you or to, you know, start talking to you again, it doesn't look like there's going to be a new start between you two. Um... But you will need to make a decision first. So this is, was at the bottom of the deck. Um, let's clarify the Two of Wands just to see what you guys are waiting on. So let's clarify the Two of Wands. What's going on with the Two of Wands for Libra? What's going on with the Two of Wands for Libra? Alright, 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 alright. Alright, 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 alright. Ooh. Okay, it's clarified by the Three of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles, all right? So I normally would have just pulled one card, but, you know, this, they're telling me to pull two, or I just pulled two at the same time. I didn't realize I was pulling two. But either way, um, I didn't mean to pull two is what I'm trying to say. But either way, they came out. So that's what it was meant for you guys. All right. So this connection was just unstable. It wasn't uh, bringing anyone peace. And it was just like a waiting game. Like you guys were both waiting for your ships to come in. But at the same time, they weren't coming in because the connection was unstable. So it looks like you guys could be mirroring each other. And that's why, you know, this person feels like um, what they did was right. But at the same time, they feel like they feel the same way you felt when if you did the same thing to them, all right, or vice versa, right? They they feel the energy. They understand that um, what they did wasn't right, but at the same time, they feel it was right because it was justified. Even though you feel like it, it's not justified, they may feel like it is. All right. So let's see what energy cards you guys got. So what energy cards do you guys got? So 
Flip cards, I'm using the chakra cards and uh, the moonology cards. Just so you guys know. Um, so yeah, those are going to be the advice and energy cards I am using. All right. So what ener what energies are is Libra dealing with during this reading? Play. So someone may like to play games, and that's like how you see this person. Like they just maybe they're a player, and they just like they're always like you know with someone else or whatever you know they're never wanting to commit you know and you're getting you're finding out the truth about this because you have truth about the situation you're going to understand why this person did what they did and you know why they felt like it was necessary you know but they they're just someone that likes to play you know they don't like taking things serious they're not someone that's very uh committal they kind of just like they, they are the Ten of Pentacles reversed, right? So they're not someone that wants a stable foundation. Maybe they come from a broken home and they just aren't used to having a stable foundation. You know, maybe their dad was a player or like their mom was a player, whatever it was. Um, they just, that's how they grew up. So that's all they knew, right? So... That's kind of how it, you know, played out. That's <laughs> um, not to, it's kind of a play on words, but like, um, I don't know. That's just how they develop. That's how they love because they, they want to love without all the stress, right? They kind of, they don't want to worry about things. They kind of just want to have fun. They want to enjoy the relationship they don't want to stress about every little thing or like watch their back about like you know not washing the dishes or whatever it is you know they don't want someone that's strict you know they kind of just want to like eat their or have their cake and eat it too right but you're not that type of person. You don't want to. You don't want to play games. You know. You want to. You you want a serious relationship, and this person just doesn't want that. They don't want a serious relationship. They just want to play games. Also, <laughs> the truth card also is signifying Libra as well. So. You could be speaking your truth, but the divine is asking you to surrender to, you know, surrender from your aggression. All right. I see that you are very angry when it comes to this card, these cards. Um, just bring love into the situation, even if you know that it's going to that you feel like you're going to regret it, it's going to be better for you in the long run, all right? And you do have two Aquarius cards, so that could be signif uh, significant to you, and it just signifies uh, Aquarius is in this reading, so maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius. Um, but uh, yeah, you just got to surrender. Don't like try to do tit for tat because it's just going to backfire and it's going to create a injustice situation, all right? So, Libra, I hope you guys resonated with this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and namaste. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.